Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to be going over the visual properties in Camtasia Studio 8. I'm going to be making a new video a little later on the, how to fully edit your presentations in Camtasia Studio 8, but if you've used the software before, um, then you the real, the real editing hasn't changed, just this new property and a few things have changed, so I'm going to be going over this one for the people that have used the software before. All right, let's jump right in. What the visual properties is, is it will allow you to create flash style animations in your screencast using images or callouts. I've been hoping Camtasia would add something like this for a while. It adds a bit of depth and professionalism to your screencasts. Um, all right, and I'm sure you're all dying to see how it works. Let me click out to a point in my video, find a good spot. All right, here we go. Okay, so to get the visual property started, we're gonna need an image. I'm gonna add a call out. Let me shrink it down to the size I want. All right, there's the call out. Actually, I'm gonna extend it a little too. And now we can change where this call out moves to using the animations. First thing I'm going to do, because I want the, um, I guess for how I want this animation to look, so I'm going to take this, I'm actually going to drag it off the screen and over off the stage to this little gray area. But now I'm going to go on to my call out on the track three that says point arrow, pointy arrow, go a little out on the timeline, and then I'm going to go over to the visual properties tab, and I'm going to click this green add animation. And all I have to do is grab my arrow and I'm going to drag it over to the calculator. And when I play this back, there goes the arrow, see? And for the whole time, when it's like this, it will not be showing up in the screencast. There won't be a little arrow off in the corner. It only appears the second it goes onto the stage. So this effect's nice and all, but let's say you want to add a little more. You can do that. We can go back over to this Add Animation tab, click it, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. I'm gonna turn it and move it to the side. And now watch when we play back. Very nice, looks very nice. So there's a lot you can do with this. Um, I also mentioned you can do it on images as well. Any call out you, um, excuse me, call out, anything you import into your library, something in. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so let me get back on to my screencast. Alright, I'll do it here. Okay, I'm going to drag this image onto the clipboard, like so. So now I've got this little hand in track 4. Let's see. And I'm going to add some animation effects to that. I'm going to shrink it down first. And it's exactly the same. You can keep it on frame or pull it off. I'm going to pull it off frame like I did with the first one. And just go back over to that visual properties tab. Let's go over here, add animation. And it works exactly the same. Just drag the hand over. 
and watch it play back. <clears throat> Alright, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.